What's up guys? Today's gonna be an awesome day. We're gonna clean some snakes, play with some snakes, probably gonna do some stupid shit. I know you guys probably were not expecting that. It's okay. Guys, what is up? This is my really good friend, Joe Mack. I've been talking to you guys a little bit about him. A lot of you guys asked me in the questions and answer video if um, I was gonna go to Australia and I told you I do have a really good friend that lives in Australia. Right there. I literally flew him out here just for this video. <laughs> Totally kidding, didn't do that because that's a lot of money. Uh, he's actually over nice. here touring the country. Your second time? Third. Third time, yeah. third time. Uh, I met him a little over three and a half years ago mm -hmm. at Tom Crutchfield's. Uh, we've been friends ever since. So yeah. today, today we're gonna clean some stuff, we're gonna play with some stuff, and we're gonna feed some stuff. Sound fun? You. Yeah. Let's do it. All right, so first things first in there um, is now, in Australia, you have lots of elapids. Absolutely. Everything is elapids. Everything's elapids. The deadliest snakes in the world. Yeah, that's so what awesome. They say. So awesome. Yeah. Um, now, guys, I, of course, will be putting his Instagram in the end of this. So you guys got to check it out. It's fucking badass. But anyway, so in there, I have my cobras. So I want you to open that first one up and take her out and put her in there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but we got we, we to gotta clean that out. So. Open the top cage. Yeah, the top drawer. I know you've done this thousands of times, just not with Cobras. Just not with Cobras. Bro, I'm, I'm kidding, there's nothing in there. You fucking joke. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, I actually... <laughs> no, I actually moved her in with the mail because of the storm, um, but I gotta go get a garbage can ready so we can dump all the bedding, get the new bedding. So, we'll be right back and then we'll continue. Okay, so I got the trash can, I got the bedding outside the door. Um, now I did put my Cobras together and I wanted to explain to you guys why. Um, for the simple fact that the hurricane was here and the barometric pressure changes. And when it does it, for some reason, it triggers snakes to breed. So I did put my two Cobras together. It is not Cobra season yet. Um, I actually have to start preparing that in uh, I wanna say a couple months for them to start breeding. So I did put them together, but I do wanna clean out their cages today. Um, it's really simple, it's just, that's that's pretty much it right there, but and then we're gonna take them out and play with them too. So we'll be right back again. Anyway. All right, so Joe's gonna be pulling out the cobras here and showing you guys. They're a little dirty. So, yeah, that's the female there. Actually, no, I'm sorry. That's the male. This one here. Is? Yeah, that's the male. So he's gonna be going in the trash can. Hopefully, he got his uh, his thing on during the hurricane. Hopefully, we'll see. And, yeah, and that's the female there. Now she actually nicked me when I first got her. Freaked summer out. So the type of elapids that Joe deals with are literally some of the worst in the world, deadly wise. Um, I mean, you got what tiger snakes, uh, typhoons, brown snakes. Yeah, all that stuff. it's it's crazy. My favorite, the red belly black snakes, because they are. I think they're absolutely beautiful. They're kind of like the indigos that we have here, that's but like, absolutely a venomous. Yeah, indigo. yeah, venomous indigo. It's crazy. So, oh look at the yumminess. Oh yes. Oh yay. Yeah, it's been a minute since I cleaned these guys, but we're gonna get them cleaned up, moved in, and then what do you feel like uh, playing with today? Yeah. Take like, a thing, huh? yeah, yeah. I know it's weird seeing me behind the camera on my channel. It's not a normal thing. Usually I'm the guy in front of it, but. I don't know. So, changing uh, it up. Yeah, changing it up. Um, we well, don't really deal with too many vipers in Australia. We don't have any. At all. None at all. None at all. So, no. you want to maybe take up a big rattlesnake? Yeah. We'll, yeah. You definitely. like to work with him a little bit? Yeah, we'll play with that. So, he's going to play with that. That's going to be awesome. You guys saw that in my last video. I love that big rattlesnake. So, we're going to clean this cage up. We're going to take out the big rattlesnake. Um, we're going to give you guys a little update on my Gaboon Viper. And let's go. All right. So, I'm going to pull my male out and put him back in there. Um, now, I know a lot of you guys ask why I keep these snakes in these little racks. They're really not that little. The camera probably makes them look smaller than they are. Um, they do make a bigger one, which I will be getting at the end of this month um, for these Cobras. And I will be getting more Cobras once I get the bigger rack. Um, it is all I have for right now. Come here. So, that is my male. Albino coral co or coral cobra. Wow, my albino monocle cobra. Hopefully, he was able to uh, 
get some stuff going on this week with the hurricane. Come on, y'all, head up for me. You just want to go back in your little house, don't you? Don't you? You just want to go back home. Not many people do stuff like this. <laughs> Look at that hood. Look at that hood. So there you go. There's a cobra hooding up at you. And pooping all and over me. And pooping all over me. Ah, oh, you suck! Alright, well, I'm gonna have to clean that up now. Oh, bro, you got me so good. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna pull out the big male uh, Mexican West Coast rattlesnake. Uh, now, have you handled a rattlesnake this big? I don't think I've ever touched a rattlesnake. Ever? Oh, I have, I have, I have. But that's not that big. No not way. that big? Okay. Um, he's pretty cool. Um, Tyler Nolan is also good friends with Joe here, uh, so he knows him and he knows the story about where this snake came from and yada yada yada. You guys already all know that fun jazz, but we're going to pull him out. Joe's going to handle him a little bit. My female has not shed yet. If you guys can see, her eyes are still white. So, now as soon as I open this, she is probably going to come launching out. That's the other diamond back that I have in there. Oh, man. Come here, little guys. Hey. 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 No? Okay. All right. So, go ahead and... Oh, yeah. Like, see, I told you, she's going to come right out. She's like, what are you guys doing? Go ahead, you can hook him right, right there on top if you want. Yeah. I like to get under there like that. Yeah. That's a good spot. Okay. Hey, bud. So now if you want, just pull him over there. I'm going to actually close that glass. There you go. Sweet. Why do you got to do like right there? All right, maybe I want to leave that open for right now. All right, so. How bad I close that? There you go. There we go. <laughs> so playtime is always fun. Um, every time me and Joe get together, we always do some sort of playtime. So he's actually never handled a rattlesnake this big. So I'm very honored to let him handle my big rattlesnake. Now, I know Joe's not a very big guy, but that is still <laughs> a, a huge snake. rattlesnake. Not the biggest I've owned, but definitely, definitely a big boy. Absolutely love that snake. Still, a, that's a big animal. We're at two cameras right now. So Joe did ask me to take some pictures for him, so I am also doing that. Sorry for the silence, guys. But, yeah, he is he is stunning. I know Phoenix Herp Society, they have a big, beautiful male just like him, yeah. too. Um, I've seen lots and lots of pictures of him. Um, I mean, these guys are just fucking beautiful snakes. He's quite well-mannered, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like he's... And it's so crazy, because, like, when Tyler gave him to me, just stupid aggressive. So, like, he rattles only when I grab him, but now I've got him and he's not rattling at all. Yeah. He used to he used to be so bad, like literally so bad. See that dude taking pictures. <laughs> but um yeah guys, that's one thing too, like a lot of people um don't understand. Like you can tame these snakes down. Now obviously they're still a wild animal, but you can tame them down. I mean, that is something I honestly love to do is tame rattlesnakes down because people fear them because you can't tame them down, this and that. Cobras are one thing. Um I mean I know the lapids you work with are a completely different it's other different thing, animals. even though they're the same, yeah. you know, animal as a cobra in a way, it's still a different type of animal. Yeah. I mean, they're intelligent, they learn. Um, I mean, it's crazy, crazy stuff. You just gotta learn the animal and 
Know your limits. Know what yeah. you can and can't do. Like, you won't see Joe doing the stuff that I do with my animals because he doesn't know these animals like I do. Absolutely not. But it's to him, this is still, like, amazing because he doesn't get to see these stuff every day like we do. I still get jittery. Yeah. <laughs> like, we do have um, Thai pans and red belly black snakes and stuff like that here in the States. But they, Australia as a country, does not allow you to import or export anything any wildlife nothing exotic um certain certainly not, zoos certainly not for personal reasons yeah and for personal reasons like the big zoos and stuff they do but um it's a lot of effort yeah <laughs> it's here, a lot. here in the states like there are breeders that do have some of the snakes from there but they're so expensive i mean i had a kid tell me i think it was like three or four days ago for a taipan and he didn't know if it was a coastal or an inland they wanted like eight grand for this tie pan. Jesus. Eight grand, bro. That's insane. It's big money. Yeah, it's huge money. Like, I, I can't afford that. I'm sorry. I would love to have a tie pan one day, but I'm not paying eight grand for a snake. Not happening. So. And now he's rattling. I love this snake. He's, he's so mad. cool. He's so. Well, he's not mad. He's just. Wary. Wait, yeah, that's all he's doing. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful snake. He's so cool. If you want, um,. You can open that one behind you if you want to put them back in that door there. Sure. You want to pick them up one more time? I'll try and get another picture for you. Yeah, sure. I don't know how to grab this thing, Will. <laughs> hey, okay, so same thing. You can grab kind of the tail just like that. Oh, it's all right. And just... The more level you hold them, um, the more comfortable they are. Yeah, they don't like being oh, too... Yeah, like that. yeah, see? Come over here. You're okay. Yeah, I know most of the pictures and stuff you showed me, they're... Awesome, awesome, awesome stuff. Fuck yeah. Um, the elapids, they don't really mind it being held up like that, but the rattlesnakes absolutely love to be more level than anything. Our elapids at home, you hold them by the tail and that's how you control the animal. Yeah. The animal's yeah. upset, you put the animal on the ground. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> pretty sweet and simple. Just so you guys know, you guys think I'm crazy for handling venomous snakes barefoot. Look, see, I'm not the only one. Maybe I belong in Australia. Maybe, maybe, you do. maybe that's it. Like, well, the, everybody is always barefoot in Australia. Florida and Queensland, I think the same place. Pretty much, yeah. So, um, now a lot of you guys have commented and seen that my gaboon is on paper. The reason why my gaboon viper is on paper, for the very simple fact, out of nowhere, she got mites. Freaked me out. I did everything I did to treat her. I've been taking care of her. She's had two treatments already. Um, so I'm gonna clean her paper one more time, make sure there's no more mites on him, on her. Um, but yeah, so you wanna pull her out? Mm -hmm. yeah? yeah? Cool. Oh, he's like, hell yeah. Um, this is like, <laughs> it's a tall cage, I'm a short dude, so. It. Bro, it's not that tall. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that tall. But like, this isn't that bad. But um, no, so we're gonna pull her out. Um, I do need to also feed her, so we're gonna defrost a rat. We're gonna, you wanna feed my um, dwarf caiman? Yes. Yes, what kind of question is that? So we're gonna feed the dwarf caiman. Um, yeah, I think that, that, that'll be like a full episode for you guys, so you guys can enjoy it. Um, so yeah, well, let's go ahead and pull her out. Um, we gotta get the trash can. All right, so you want the little hook for this one again? Yes. So the hooks that he uses at home are we run so a, this is your handle, and the hook's about here. No, no, so we run a two-foot hook. Oh, so a two-foot hook. Yeah, two-foot long for most things. This is probably nearly three-foot. So for uh, most things, I run a two-foot hook. Yeah, so it's even shorter than that. Yeah. So the world's deadliest snakes, shorter hook, barefoot. And y'all complain about me being barefoot. All right, so we're going to pull her out now. Again, you guys know I've had this gaboon forever. This is my baby. This is my sweetheart. So I honestly almost cried when... I saw that she had mites and I did everything I did to treat her, so she's doing 100% better. Uh, we're gonna pull her out, stick her in a trash can. I gotta take all that paper out of there, spray her cage down one more time, and then we're gonna feed her. Probably do that at the end of the video, but yeah. So I actually got a, a fan on YouTube that is sending me a snake hook. So excited for this. Because, look at her, she's so beautiful. Oh my god. 
pretty snake. So beautiful. Right. So awesome guy he's sending me a snake hook. I'm gonna show you guys this snake hook when I get it. Super excited. It's got a green handle on it. It's so awesome. That's cool. So awesome. He's actually got a video on his YouTube uh, making these snake hooks, which when I do get the snake hook, I'll talk about it then and I'll put the link for the video um, in the description, but I'm so excited for this new snake hook. It's for heavy body snakes, so it's really gonna be helpful for the gaboon and the bigger rattlesnakes too. And it's green. You can't beat that. It's green. I love green. If you guys couldn't tell, I love green. But anyway, all right, so I'm gonna toss this out and then we'll, we're gonna feed her at the end, um, talk about her a little bit as well. So yeah, be right back. All right, so it's all clean, nice and good to go. New paper towels, sprayed it down, gave him some water. I don't keep water in there for a little bit when I do treat for mites. Um, I don't even know how this happened. It literally came out of nowhere. So she's all treated, all good to go. Um, she'll be on paper for another, probably about I don't know, a week or so. If I don't see any more mites coming off of her, then we will be good to go and she can go back on normal bedding. These things are so different. Like, do I just pull it up like that? Um, you can. Or would you pull um, it up by the tail? I pull it up by the tail and grab it just because it is a heavy body snake. Yeah. Um, so I don't, how big do the death adders get? Not this big. So you can, if she does that, you can pick her up and then let her head rest go on here. Oh yeah. There you go. Except. And then there you go. So they don't get that big, huh? Um, so there's the locality that come from Sydney in New South Wales, uh -huh. like might get this big. Actually, one was hit on the road. It was four feet long. Oh, wow. Which is huge, but typically like two, maybe three feet. Damn. Yeah. Not this heavy body, like not this fat. Yeah, I actually have a buddy of mine who breed, he's got a pair and he breeds them every year. Um, and I'm going to be getting one or two of them off of him uh, next season. Super cool. It'll be my first Australian snake. Oh, the lapids. Yeah, so cool. It, they're called death adders, but they're not adders at all. They are still lapids. They have fixed fangs, which I didn't know that. I actually had asked Joe about that. He told me that they have fixed fangs, which is really cool. Um, he deals with them all the time, so super excited. So we're going to go defrost some stuff, feed the... Uh, well, yeah, we're going to feed her. Feed her, and we're gonna feed the dwarf caiman because that's always fun. Yeah. 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 So let's go defrost some stuff and feed some stuff. All right, guys. So we're in here with the dwarf caiman. You guys have been asking how Ch little Chomper is doing. I actually named him Chomper. Have you seen the Land Before Time? Uh, yes. The T Rex. His name was Chomper. So yeah, that's what I named him after. A lot of people said that. So we're gonna be feeding him. Well, Joe's gonna be feeding him, which is really cool. A uh, little underwater shot there. So now it does take a minute, just like all baby stuff. Oh, nice. First shot. He just ripped it off. Yeah. Yeah. First time eating on camera. Yeah. Crushed it. Awesome. So as you guys can see, little Chomper is doing great. So cool. Yeah, that was the first time I actually, actually it's the first time I've watched him eat. Because usually I feed him and he puts it in his mouth and I walk away. Yeah. So again, guys, Chomper, my little dwarf. Came in so happy to have him be in the family. Man, he downed that thing. So cool. Yeah, I gotta start feeding him a little bit more. But uh, yeah, so boom. So, are you ready to feed some big stuff? Yeah. So I defrosted three rats, not one. Oh shit, what are we feeding? <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna have to see. Uh. All right guys, so we're back in the snake room, as you can see. The famous Red Bull. Everybody loves my Red Bull because everybody knows it's feeding time, time when they see that Red Bull. So um, I did defrost three medium rats. So Joe here has never fed these three snakes, which two of them are the same snake. We're going to feed the cobras that we just cleaned. Yeah. Super exciting. And he's going to be feeding the Kaboon Viper as well. Big um, Gabby. Big Gabby. Um, she hasn't eaten in a couple weeks just because of the mite pro problem, but just so you guys have a more realization of how fast these snakes strike, I'm gonna film not just the snake striking, but also him feeding it so you guys can see him jump back from this. Cause I jump and I move the camera when I yeah. feed them. So like I you want jump them to see- You jump and you do it all the time. And I do it all the time. <laughs> and people comment all the time that they see, like they jump when they see it cause they don't expect it. So to give you guys another perspective of this, we're gonna be filming this stuff for you guys. So 
Let's start with the Cobras, then we'll do her. Yeah, cool. The big shebang. Sweet. Awesome. So, the Cobras, you guys have seen, they're not too, too crazy. Um, actually, no, those are my feeding tongs there, so grab the black ones. Those are the poop tongs. <laughs> <laughs> so, what you're going to do, grab one hook, have a rat ready. Mm, they're all the same. Size. Yeah, they're all the same size. You might want to grab that better because they will knock that right like off. You can grab the egg, grab the whole like thing. That? Yeah, so he feeds the lapids all the time back at home, but not cobras. So go ahead and open that bad boy up. That's the female. Just like that. She grabbed it, but she let go. She'll go back to it. Normally, as you guys have seen in my videos, the cobras do grab and hang on. Do the lapids at home do that too? Uh, yeah, sometimes. So different ones. Brown snakes and type ends will bite and let go. Uh, brown, uh, black snakes and um, tiger snakes will bite and hang on. Yeah. Typically. Uh, See that? I'm learning, and you guys are also learning. <laughs> this is great. I'm learning to how to hold on to a rat with these tongs. Yeah, I know. It's fun, isn't it? Yeah. There's different ones, but I just really like those. Hey, big fella. If you want, you can actually have them chase it out a little bit, too. He's like, uh... Who is this guy? Touch him with it. There he is. He smells it. What the heck? Oh. He's thinking about it. I'm losing my grip, dude. Come on. Oh. <laughs> you can put it down and regrip it if you want. Dude is not having it today. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh. Oh, well, maybe not. We'll just leave it in there for now. She doesn't need it by tomorrow. I gotta pull it out. Bye. See ya. Nice big rat you got there. Alright, so, got the GoPro up there, filming your face, hopefully. You can get closer, bro, you're like so far away. Oh, where are you? Definitely jumped. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. How's this is a funny fact. There's a zoo in Melbourne that has, I think like four species of cobras. They've got diamondbacks, a few bits and pieces. They've got the longest monocle cobra fangs in the world. Really? 11 millimeters, half an inch. Her fang just broke out inside that rat. <laughs> I think the, this is the one on this side. Yeah. Did it or did she just pull it no, out? No, I think she just pulled it out. Oh no, dude, it, it broke. It broke out, yeah. So she's gonna eat it and poop it out. Did she? Because the other one doesn't seem to be going out too far. Pretty cool. I think my gaboon just shed a fang in this rat that she's eating right now. <laughs> Alright guys. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Joe. Good stuff. Pleasure. Love it. Thank you, sir. We're going to actually continue playing with snakes. So I will <laughs> see you guys in the next video. Remember, subscribe if you aren't already. Smash that little bell notification so you guys can key when I post. Hit your little like because apparently people don't like when I say smash your like button because then it breaks. And yeah, I don't know. That's what people have been telling me. Yeah, but anyways. anyway, we'll see you guys in the next video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Bye.